Welcome to the Ogles channel. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about a situation that's going on at Nintendo that I feel needs to be remedied a little bit. And that deals with the N64 controllers for Nintendo Switch Online N64 expansion. Now, I loved N64. N64 is one of my favorite systems growing up. Had so many great games. I mean, Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Mario Kart, uh, Super Smash Brothers. That's not on the online service yet. But so many amazing games for the N64. But when you play these games on your Switch, they're not super easy to play with the Switch controllers. And honestly, these games are built around using the official Nintendo 64 controller to really play these games to the full uh, capabilities or to the full enjoyment in a lot of cases. Some of them don't matter that much, like Dr. Mario 64. Yeah, doesn't matter what controller you use. When you're playing like Ocarina of Time, you really do want the controller that goes with the N64. It just makes the most sense when it comes to that. And Nintendo attempted to give us the N64 controller for the Switch. They, of course, released it on their official Nintendo website. All you had to be was a uh, online member or the Switch online member subscriber. And you could, of course, buy an N64 controller. But quantities were very, very limited when it comes to this. They sold out within like the first uh, first day, if not the first like hour almost, on the first day they announced it, way back in like November. And of course, we got more stocks that came in last week, but they sold out in an hour again. And we got some, of course, in a couple of days ago that also sold out within an hour. Now, the problem here is, is you can buy four controllers all at once when they, go, of course, go up for sale. And a lot of these people who are buying these controllers are taking them and heading straight to eBay with their controllers. And they are selling these off for a pretty significant profit. They go for about $100 a piece if you look at these sold auctions here. And the problem is it's not just one or two. I mean, there's like 300 listings for N64 controllers and every single one of these has at least four, it seems like, that they're selling. I saw one on here that had literally like 59 controllers that they had sold. I mean, come on, if you're getting 59 controllers, obviously you're not using any of these. You're just simply using you and your friend's Switch accounts in order to stockpile these in order to sell them off to make a profit. I know people, they make their livings. They're going to make their profits in various ways. I mean, hey, if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. Obviously, it hurts consumers in a lot of ways. It hurts me from getting the N64 controller and possibly you as well. But I think Nintendo could do a few things to help remedy the situation just a little bit. And the first thing I think they could do is I think they could limit it down to two per customer. Instead of allowing four controllers per every Switch Online member, you could do two and most people are gonna be satisfied of two. I mean, two controllers is better than no controllers, which is what the majority of us have in the situation. Also, what Nintendo could do is they could make only expansion pack online members available to buy the N64 controllers. I mean, these are the only people who can actually play the N64 games on their Switch, so why not make this an exclusive where only if you signed up for the expansion pack, then you can purchase the controllers. That's also going to cut down a lot of these scalpers who just simply sign up for the base uh, model of the Switch Online at the smallest price possible and then of course are hoarding these extra controllers. It would make it available for people who actually signed up to play the N64 on their Switch. And of course, I know this is not the only item that's sold out in various places. There's a scarcity on a lot of items, of course, around the world on circumstances that are out of our control. However, I think Nintendo could do a few things to help solve this problem and get more N64 controllers to people who are actually going to use them. Just simply cut down the number that people can actually buy and also make it available only for the expansion pack members. I really think this can solve a lot of the problems and hey, I might actually be able to get a uh, N64 controller to play on the Switch if they change their policies around a little bit. Because like I said, I really want to be able to play Ocarina of Time. I want to play Banjo-Kazooie. I want to play some of these games, but I just don't have that same amount of fun with the original or of the new controllers as I would with the original N64 controller. But what do you guys think? Are you having problems getting an N64 controller yourself? Are you one of the hoarders who has, you know, four, five, six, 50, 60, 70 N64 controllers? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you were able to get one at a good price, hey, what's your secret? How are you able to get in there and actually get the N64 controller when they announce their course releasing them? Let me know in the comment section down below for all that. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check my other videos. And by all means, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great rest of the day.